welcome back to my channel welcome back to another video i know i've been coming your way in a long while and um it's due to trying to focus on my wife and the babe new baby and um well our couple channel somewhere somehow i've neglected this one but i'm back but today i want us to have a conversation around the subject the difference between relationship dating and marriage but i'll take it from the top which is a marriage and then i'll come to dating and i'll come to relationship but before i go on i want to ask you a question who is watching that what do you think or know about relationship dating and marriage what do you know about it i believe that the things we know helps us to become better or drive whatever we are in but if we don't know anything about it it affects us uh, one of my surveys that i've done i've asked people who are in relationships uh, or they would term it as dating i've asked them why are they dating why are they in a relationship and many times the answers i got was of no lead many will say oh i'm in the relationship because i love this girl because i love that girl basically that's just it now these subjects i just raised are wide subjects marriage is a wide subject you can you can digest it you can talk about it today and end it on just one point it's a whole thing on it too. it's a it's a marriage is an it's, it's an institution <clears throat> it's a whole school that uh, you learn on the ground but many times getting advice on it helps getting counsel on it helps it helps to it helps you to chart a path that will help your marriage work and grow and become better so marriage is a whole institution it's a whole whole wide space that uh, when you jump into it you can't just jump into it and, and then mean i mean just be free like that but it's a whole thing so what i want to say about it is that let us see it this way marriage is an institution it is governed by a purpose and the purpose is just the original plan for why two people come together and stay together and are being called one on that point i want to talk about weddings weddings are not marriages weddings are ceremonies that happens that not the two people to actually become one to stay at one place and raise the family so marriage is a whole institution but my own personal revelation on what marriage is that is what um, God shared with me about marriage is this. He says that um, when two people come together, which is being married, it is a generation. Now, before the two people come together, there must first be some few things that happens to these two people in an individual aspect. That is the male is a nation the female is also a nation when the two of them come together it is a generation the children that come after them are also generations but they are nations they are also generating after them they are nations i hope that is clear all right but before this marriage will work then the male must be in alignment with the purpose to why he is on earth and must know and understand the purpose of marriage so in essence before the male joins himself with the female that male must be right in his heart in his mind and his tongue literally your heart must be in alignment with god your tongue must what you say must be the right things and then your mind must think about the right things literally basically the positive things <laughs> same applies to the female the reason around all of this concept is that if you are not in alignment with purpose you will be swayed off to do what is not right for marriage and when you do the things that are not right for marriage in this area 
a lot will happen to you a lot will happen to you that's why there are myriads of divorces and heartbreaks and all of that even in marriage that's why there are a lot of things happening to married people um, when they are married because the man is cheating the wife is cheating and i mean not to talk about that but just so we get it clear if you get your heart right if you get your mind right and if you get your tongue right both parties both the male and the female uh, it, 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 it shows the direction at which your marriage is going to go the reverse is the same if you don't get your mind and your heart and your tongue right it's also going to show the direction at which your heart and your marriage is going to go literally your marriage is standing between two opposite forces it's standing between good force and bad force literally your marriage is standing between God and the devil because the devil wants by all means to separate you but god wants always to keep you bonded and keep you going together it's a whole lot i'll come to that maybe later but if you want to know more about it just hit me in the comment i'll tell you more about it now let's talk about date a lot of people in early stages they call it dating but let me put it to you right here and there that you, you are worrying yourself. You are killing yourself. Dating is a whole concept and level that you must be serious for the next thing with the person you are in with to start dating. What I mean is that if you're not serious about the girl or the guy, don't date the person why in all aspect and i need you to understand is that diaspora dating is not what dating is at the end this is why i'm saying that i gathered some information that in the us and Europe, european countries their term of dating is they meet a girl go out on a date with a girl that is go to a restaurant or some place to eat and drink and the next thing is see the girl to the door we, we see this in movies see the girl to the door maybe give your first kiss after the first kiss you try another restaurant eating and all of that again if it works out then you consider it as dating or that is when you consider it as relationship and then you drive that but that is that is a, a defected whole concept the whole concept has it got has been uh, derailed from the original concept of dating i'm saying this because most of us in our time in our age in our dispensation and in our country now are doing the same thing and they would say that they are dating this guy or they are dating this girl because uh, they tried out maybe going out on the movies or going out on a date and then um, it didn't work out or it is worked out that for for a fact dating is being with a person that you know that in the next six months or three months you are going to marry the person in essence dating means courting so if you say you are dating somebody you are you actually means that you are courting the person and courting is the process that leads to marriage so why would you be courting somebody for a year, for two years, for three years, for five years, for like 10 years, and you're not married? And that should tell you that uh, you are hurting yourself or you are worrying and killing yourself. Dating means courting. And courting is a time that you are ready to settle down. You are ready to get married and you are probably seeking counsel for the next step you are probably preparing what in africa we we'll call knocking or you're probably going to speak into if it's in europe you're going to speak to the pe the lady's parent about your interest in the lady so that is dating for you dating is courting if you're not ready for it don't jump into it don't just be desperate and jump into dating somebody whilst you know that in the next three six or even a year you won't marry the person i leave you with this advice that my pastor shared with me sometime he said that 
being in a relationship with somebody for more than a year dating somebody for more than a year is a trap and I, and I 100% believe it because in our African setting um, if you watch closely you realize that most of our parents never got married like never really really did the legal thing to get married and all of that started by some little little things that happened that they didn't pay attention to for example you are in a relationship with this girl not probably courting the girl but the girl starts visiting you maybe spending the weekend spending overnight start leaving her clothes start washing your clothes start cooking for you and before you realize you've had sex before you realize she's giving birth for you before you realize you had two children before you realize you have three children or uh, literally you are, you are you have married a person once you start washing and cooking and doing all those things for you literally you've married a person but but that is not the right way because even in the time where you are giving birth and having sex and all of that a lot can happen that will be taken against you so you need to check this now let me come to relationship relationship is a vast subject and i'll leave you on it for my next topic on the next thing i want to talk about relationship is a vast topic and it cuts across a lot of things but before i go on this i want to say check this out for you to not make mistakes in your courting or dating process and not make mistakes in your marriage then you must take your relationships seriously and relationships is the starting point i'm going to talk about several things that has to do with relationship relationship is when you meet a person relationship is when you start getting to know the person and in relationship we have we call we have what we call family relationship uh business relationship and um all of that relationship there is but when it is two people involved here it is it can also be termed as um, a romantic relationship or friendly relationship and in the friendly relationship is void of physical touches and physical attachments but in the romantic relationship is is it consists of physical and romantic uh, physical touching and all of that but it is through that that you get to know the person you get to avoid all the mistakes it is through that, that you get to see all the red flags and then helps you to be able to decide whether you're gonna court this person and marry this person or not sorry for the noise my baby is interrupting here and there <laughs> but i'm i'm glad i'm sharing this with you and i'm i'm hopeful that it has helped you in a way if you need to understand something you need to get more details hit me in the comment and then we'll get talking thanks so much for watching i truly appreciate you being here with me all right bye